Now to the Hood County deputy who was more seriously injured. Brandon Todd is at John Peter Smith Hospital right now with an update on the uh, Hood County Sheriff's deputy, Brandon. Right, Clarice, uh, Steve, Deputy Lance McLean here at JPS Hospital in critical condition. Over at Harris Methodist, uh, Officer Chad Davis is in serious condition. Both officers getting support, though, from their extended family of law enforcement. He got out of the uh, van with uh, an assault weapon and, and started firing on the officers. Granbury Police Chief Mitch Galvin says his officer, Chad Davis, was doing exactly as he'd been trained when he was shot by 49-year-old Richard McComas right in front of Granbury City Hall. I mean, the bullet entered uh, toward the top part of his arm, exited back to his back. Uh, he is currently in stable condition. He's going to make a full recovery. Uh, they're a little concerned right now about uh, some possible nerve issues, but uh, everything seems to uh, look very positive uh, for Chad. He's resting comfortably. He's talking and uh, in good spirits. Hood County Deputy Lance McLean, seen here in pictures from Twitter, was the one who responded to the disturbance call at that home in the Oak Trail Shores community. That's where McComas shot Deputy McLean in the head. Our thoughts and prayers are with uh, Roger Deeds and uh, the rest of the Sheriff's Department uh, and Lance and his family. Uh, we just wish that uh, and hope that everybody will join us in those prayers uh, for Lance and his family. Deputy McLean is a five-year veteran of the Hood County Sheriff's Office. A former neighbor of Officer Davis says the news of what happened is painful to hear. Our prayers will be with him and, and his family, and we hope everything pulls, pulls out for the positive. Chief Galvin says though these officers were part of two different departments, they are part of the same family. I've still got officers over there uh, with Lance and his family. Uh, we're a very tight grip. Uh, tight-knit group of uh, people over there and uh, when you work when you work together every day uh, of the year you get close and they're, they're just like family to us as we are to them so uh, you know when, a, when something like this happens it's a hit on both departments officer Davis an officer for 12 years before that a part of the Army and National Guard Clarice good news about officer Davis Brandon but tell us a little bit more about deputy McLean and, and his family yeah, we're, we're learning a lot about uh, his family from Twitter. He had two special needs kids, he and his wife, both doting on those kids, trying uh, uh, desperately to try and get them extra equipment to help them out, uh, even going as far as to try and uh, ask for the help from the Texas Rangers. As far as uh, Deputy or, uh, Officer Davis, we know that he, from neighbors, he had a uh, six- or seven-year-old daughter that he loved dearly, he loved to spend time with as well. So, Clarice, it's, it, we're painting kind of a picture of these uh, officers, this deputy being dedicated to law enforcement, but it appears as though they were also very dedicated in the role of father. Clarice? Absolutely. That's wonderful. And lots of prayers tonight for Deputy McLean. Brendan Todd, thank you.